Hey guys, Nintendo here once again, and we've got a toy video. I picked up this lot. God, this was an adventure. My buddy Steve messaged me on Messenger right when I was leaving, getting some beer from the store, and I had just happened to pull out cash, and I happened to be near the freeway, and he sends me a message with a picture, and he's like, look what came into my store. He works at a Goodwill, and he showed a picture of a bag of retro figures. I don't even think they were bagged yet, but it was like a picture of a bunch of retro figures. Maybe I'll show the picture right here. And he said, check out these that just came in. And I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. And he's like, there's He-Man figures too. And I was like, what? I was like, do you want to trade any of that stuff? And he was like, oh no, I wish, bro. I can't buy any of this stuff till it's been in the store for two days. And I'm like, oh my god, it's got to be sitting out in the store for two days, somebody's gonna pick that up in five minutes. So I was like, all right, where's this stuff at? Uh, you know, where are you at? He's like, I'm at, I'm at the, the Goodwill in this town. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm on my way. I'll be there in like 20, 25-ish minutes. So anyways, I haul ass all the way there. I had just enough gas. I literally arrived to Goodwill on fumes, man. So I pull in the parking lot, I run out of my car, I go in this Goodwill and instantly realize I have nothing to worry about as far as like rushing. It was the smallest Goodwill. I've never been in this Goodwill before that I remember. It's a tiny Goodwill. There's barely anybody in there. Nobody's paying any attention to where these are. He tells me they're up front at this uh, like tall jewelry case. And I got to tell you guys, this might be one of the times that I just might have passed right over it. I might not have seen them. It, it was just such a weird place for retro toys. It's like jewelry, 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 jewelry. And then at the top, there was like some Ziploc bags full of retro toys. But it was just the positioning, where they were. I mean, I could see myself walking right by that and not noticing it. Though I do check jewelry counters, just the positioning and everything about it and the figures, the way their backs were, I just, I just probably wouldn't have noticed them. And so anyways, I get a hold of a lady and I'm like, oh, I need these right here, I need to look at these. And so I get this big bag of toys and then she shows me this bag of He-Man stuff and then she shows me this little bag and I'm like, oh, take it all. And she was nice enough to give me a little discount because I bought it all, which was amazing. Anyways, thank you so much, Steve. You rule. He got a few toys out of it too, but uh, let's check these out right now. All right, we got some muscle figures, which I do not run into muscle guys like ever. Like, ever, ever, ever. So we got this guy. Pretty cool. This is like rock star guy, but with no eyeballs, which is weird, but he's cool. And we've got... <laughs> Somebody in chat yesterday said, that guy probably gives good head. <laughs> uh, we got Mr. Hole in His Face, which is awesome. Pretty sweet. And we've got this, like, armored dude. Looks kind of like a medieval... Uh, almost Arabic, like, armored dude. Pretty cool. Like something you'd see from 300. We have the brick guy. This guy reminds me of, um, the Dragon Quest, like, the gold man and the golems and stuff. Pretty cool, but he does not like to stand. He's very tippy. So he's one of the few that doesn't like to stand. And then we've got this guy, which is one of my favorites. He's got a crossbow and some bolts on his back. Pretty sweet little sculpt there. And the last one, definitely my favorite. <laughs> this guy looks like he walked straight out of the Lord of the Rings set. It's like one of the freaking orcs with his double axe action. He just wants to axe you a few questions. So that's it for the uh, muscle men. Okay, next we have some micro machines and some fun rise machines, which are basically the same thing as micro machines, just a kind of a knockoff. But um, I'm going to show the ones that I'm keeping first because I don't want to get them mixed up with the ones I'm not keeping. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to keep all of them, but we'll see. Uh, first of all, with the Sun... 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 What is, damn it, what is it called? Sun... Ride, fun Rise? Fun Rise, that's what it is. <laughs> it's so hard to remember for some reason. I wonder why Micro Machines became more popular because the name is more recognizable. We've got this Jet Fun Rise. Uh, this is also a Funrise jet. I really like this one. Freaking awesome. A little, like, stealth jet with the curved down wings. 
And then I believe this one's a fun rise as well. I'm going through the ones first that I'm keeping because I don't want to have to look through them again. I probably just said that. This is not fun rise or micro machines. This is a road champs and I've never had a road champs before. I assume they're just micro machine knockoffs, but it's pretty cool. It was one of the ones that I first instantly like saw and liked. So keeping that guy. And then I do have four actual micro machines I'm keeping which is this reddish brown car, freaking awesome looking, super sweet. I've got this Ferrari, I believe, or maybe it's a Porsche. This might be a Porsche. It's super sweet. It needs to be cleaned. Some of these need to be cleaned. So does, so does this one. This one is a Ferrari. And this one needs to be cleaned, but it's pretty sweet. And then my favorite that I'm keeping, this freaking pink, I think it's like a Corvette or something. I'm not actually sure if it's a Corvette, but freaking pink with the black stripes, super awesome. So those are the ones for me. And then as far as the other ones, we've got two knockoffs here, which I don't actually know what the brand uh, brand is. They say like, uh, let's see, they say M-A-L on one side and then M-D China. I'm not sure what these are, but they're like, it's hard to tell, but they're slightly almost translucent and you can tell it's a rougher plastic, but yeah, pretty interesting. I, I don't know what these are. They're not micro machines. I'll just put those right there. And then we've got some uh, Sun Fun Fun School Fun <laughs> whatever the hell I just called them Funrise Jets. We got that guy there. Uh, we do have a broken guy here. He doesn't have his little landing gear. And then I I remember there was one more broken one. Uh, oh, maybe it was this one. Oh yeah, the very first one I showed doesn't have his wheels. So and then. The rest of them are nice though. We got that guy, nice little jet. We got this navy jet, which is pretty cool. I could tell this is how I knew that these weren't micro machines. Um, I didn't know what they really were until I got some advice from a friend. But um, and that's CM Retro Gaming, by the way. Go check out his channel. He is a expert on micro machines. Oh, I didn't notice the missiles broke on this one. But I knew that something was up with these ones, specifically the jets. I, I wasn't sure about the cars, but the jets, I was like, these are not micro machines. They're way too, like, lightweight, way too, like, light plastic. But they're really cool. This one's really awesome. Super freaking cool. And then for cars, we've got this white, like, little roadster, which is amazing. We've got this red old school car with no top like the tire on the back. This reminds me of a GoBot, actually, almost exactly. There's a GoBot that's a combiner. I believe his name is Puzzler, and one of the GoBots that goes to him looks just like that. We've got this red car, which is pretty badass. Weird headlights, though. Like <laughs> Those don't look useful at all. Uh, I've got this guy, which looks like maybe a Corvette. Not very good with cars, but yeah, I think that's a Corvette. And we got this badass little dude, pretty sweet. And this one, which is basically the same car, just different repaint. And this little yellow sports car, which is pretty awesome. I actually really like the grill, super cool. All right, so we got all those. And then we've got some actual micro machines. Besides the ones I'm keeping, there's this truck, which is badass. It's got the back to it. It is a little crooked though. I tried to fix it and it's just, it's just kind of crooked. Eh, it looks better now. It was a lot worse. Um, we've got this little sports car. No top. Pretty badass. We've got this little dude. I don't know why he has a purple windshield, but okay. All right. Okay, Joker Mobile. We see you. We see you. We've got this guy, which is funny because he looks just like this guy who's not a Micro Machines, but yeah, this one is a Micro Machine. You can tell the differences. You can tell the difference with like the detail. The Micro Machine, which is this one, has a lot more detail on the interior, and yeah, you can just tell. And then this guy, pretty cool, I like this gold vehicle, it's like a BMW or something. And this little silver sports car. So that's it for the Micro Machines. Okay, so, I never run into Masters of the Universe stuff. Uh, He-Man figures just seem to be pretty hard to find. I haven't run into one in years, pretty much, so... Pretty crazy to get so many, but here's a bunch of He-Man. This is the least great condition. I mean, he's just a little loose and no weapons or accessories or anything like that. But this is Web Store. Totally remember this dude from back in the day. And then we've got 
Grizz, Grizzlore or something like that? Um, I'm surprised he doesn't stink. You would think that this fur would <laughs> absorb every smell known to man, but he doesn't actually stink, and he's got his little front plate chest piece thing, which is pretty cool. You don't really see those all the time, but uh, yeah, pretty neat. We've got the guy that's basically a rock lord knockoff because he transforms into a rock. I'm a rock. I'm a rock. Very exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I don't know what this guy's called. I can't remember. One was like Rock On or Rocks On or something like that. Just, God, the He-Man names are so cringy. <laughs> um, we've got actual He-Man. But his chest thing, I don't know what they call these, his little battle armor thing is broken in the back. But he's still got it, which is cool, and he's actually got his axe, too, which is pretty nice. There's so many versions of He-Man in this color that I'm not really sure. I'd have to do some research to find out if he's anything, like, rare or anything. I don't think he is, but uh, pretty cool to see him like that with weapon all that jazz. Uh, we do have a badass. Badass. I don't know why I put a T at the end of badass, but badass. Beast man. He's got his chest plate thing, and uh, he has part of his one of his arm uh, spike things. But pretty cool. He's a little sticky though. I don't know if maybe the rubber in his legs is like wearing down on the inside, and maybe that's what's making him sticky. Not sure. I tried to wash him, and he's still sticky. Weird. <laughs> Not cool, Beast Man. Not cool. Um, we have the Squirting Dude. I don't remember what he's called, but he's a snake, and you can remove his head and fill him with water, and then you can. Pss, 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 pss. And what's funny is I tried him last night to see if he still worked. He does work, and he does. It doesn't come out as a spray, as like a stream. It comes out as like a mist, which is really funny. You get a light spritzing. So yeah, there's that guy. Watch out, guys. He's going to spritz you to death. No! We've got the bee guy, which I can't remember his name. I can't remember most of these guys' cringy-ass names. Probably don't want to. Uh, I remember he did have a helmet, and he had, like, a weapon, too, which was stupid because he couldn't hold it. But, <laughs> yeah, there's the bee guy. He does have his wings, though. That's pretty badass. Uh, they're usually missing the wings, so pretty sweet. And then we've got uh, something that's really badass. Roboto, and he works pretty damn well. His gears are still intact, and he's got one of his arms, which is badass. He's usually missing a hand, uh, but not this time. He's got his little battle, battle android trooper wannabe arm there, so that's pretty cool. And moving on, we've got <laughs> Fisto. Fister, Fister Roboto. <laughs> I think it's Fisto or something like that. My god. What a name. His action still works. He's got a sword. He's got his armor. Pretty sweet. A really nice shape. I have the hiccups all of a sudden. And of course the sword falls right out of his hand. Okay, we've got Clawful. I think his name is Clawful. And his claw does still work and has a nice spring to it. He's got his weapon, which is badass, and he's got his armor, which is sweet. The only thing about this guy is his leg is really funky, so he's kind of hard to stand up. Never mind, just ate my words, but his leg is a little funky. I'm not sure if he can fix Master Z Universe legs, like, easily, or if that's something that's pretty hard to do. But, yeah, he's pretty cool, because he's, you know, mostly complete, so rad. Definitely one of my favorites. This is cool. This <laughs> snake guy, I don't even... I'm not sure I ever saw him as a kid, but he rattles because he's a snake, which is badass. And then he's got this, like, button under here. So you can just press it like that, and he becomes erect. <laughs> very, very, very strong. <laughs> now he doesn't want to work. Why, don't, why do you want to work? There it goes. He only wants to work sometimes. I don't know why. Maybe his head has to be... Oh, his head can't be turned at all. Has to be right in the middle. Gotcha. But anyways, we've got Erect Serpent Guy. And the last Masters of the Universe uh, figure. I can't even believe I found this with all its parts. I mean, he doesn't have any weapons or anything. But we've got this guy, Mudokon or something. Mudokon or I don't remember his name, but it's Mudo something. But he's got all six legs. He's got both arms. He's got his little connector. Uh, he's got, you know, his tail and both heads. Kicking ass, man freaking sweet. I've never found this guy complete before. In fact, I've never found this guy, period. But I would certainly never expect to find him complete, because all these pieces can be interchanged. They all, 
you know, pop off and can be put in different places. So finding one of these with all its parts, I assume, would be kind of hard to find. So, uh, yeah, pretty darn cool. And that's it for Masters of the Universe. Oops, missed one. Uh, there was another web store. Totally forgot about him. I had him sitting aside, but he's got his hook, his backpack, and his armor, which is pretty badass. So there's a loose web store and one that's mostly complete. I'm not sure if he's complete or not, but pretty awesome. Okay, so let's get to the random stuff, which there was quite a bit of random stuff in there. Um, in the bag of micro machines was a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but a few Lego weapons and accessories, which is pretty darn cool, especially the shield. You don't really find these, uh, you know, blue shields with the uh, yellow lion on them with the red border. You don't actually find those too often, so that was kind of cool, just a few little Lego accessories. And then there was this guy right here who was a random dude. Uh, I remember my buddy Roaming Dan looked him up. Um, he just did a Google search for him, and his name was Nizzard, like wizard with an N, and he came from something called Soma? I have no idea. But he seems like he's kind of uncommon, so there's that. And then we've got the same Supernatural figure I always find. I have found like three of these guys. I remember I found one of these dudes in Mexico. Uh, and then recently I found the chest piece for the one I have, which is super freaking cool. But here's another one, I guess. I don't know. This must be the most common Supernatural there is because I've found him three times and have only found like one other Supernatural that I can remember. Okay, so then we've got this. This is uh, Phantom. Um, I don't know if you guys know, there, there's like a movie, I think, and maybe a show, and then what I know, and most people probably know, is the, um, the video game, Phantom 2040, which is actually a pretty fun game, but, yeah, this guy's kind of uncommon, too, so pretty cool, and if you twist his back, you know, he runs away, ah! Okay, and then we've got Billy D. Williams, freaking, what the heck is his name? <laughs> oh my god, why can't I remember his name? Uh, yeah, you know, the Star Wars guy, you know, he's in Cloud City. Why can't I remember his name? Freaking weird. But, uh, yeah, Billy D. Williams. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember his Star Wars name. Any other day I would remember that. Which is funny because I didn't remember that when I showed these on live stream. also. I just can't remember his name. Freaking weird. Uh, we've got a Gumby, an old Gumby, too. He's pretty cool. And he's very stretchy, so... Hi, everybody! Yeehaw! Okay, and then we've got... Uh, we've got... A, this This GoBot is badass as shit. I mean, it's really a cool GoBot, but it's missing his arms, so... Womp womp, but he'll just be displayed like that, because he's cool. I've never actually seen that GoBot before. Uh, let's see. So, we have a couple more holographic toys, but they're the other line, which is Visionaries. And we've got these two guys, which actually have their holographic plates on their chest, which is pretty uncommon. But they're always kind of screwed up, man. There's always, like, lines on them and weird just, you know, crap on them. Not exactly sure how that happens. Maybe water or something. But these guys, I do not run into very often at all. It would be nice if they had their helmets, but they don't. But it's, it's, it's still cool. I, I never run into these. I sound like Don Vito. It's, 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 it's cool. Um, but yeah, it, I like these guys because they're articulated the exact same way as G.I. Joe, a real American hero, which is fantastic. So pretty cool. And speaking of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, we've got three G.I. Joes, which is uh, Battle Armor Cobra Commander, which is cool, but his crotch is broken, but you know what? Other than that, he's in such good shape, he might be in better shape than my Cobra Commander Battle Armor, so I might swatch out, swap out his uh, piece there and keep this whole thing. If he had his breathing apparatus, that would have been badass, but no, of course not, you never find that. Same thing with Crocmaster, no breathing apparatus, but he's in super good shape. I mean, like, super tight joints, uh, no broken crotch or thumbs or anything like that, very little paint wear, so pretty awesome. Always good to get a Crocmaster. Like I said, I think he might he might be better than mine, too. Uh, and then what I never really see, this is actually a damn great figure, really damn cool, and he's in great shape. This is Mercer who is the ex-Viper, he used to be with Cobra, and then he defected, and, uh, yeah, besides a loose-ass O-ring, um, he's in super good shape, really nice paint, really tight joints, so pretty cool to add a few more G.I. Joes to the collection, hell yeah, and then for the last random thing we have, at least that I can remember, uh, there's this, <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, is that a Rock Lord that I don't have? That's so crazy, because I have 
most of the Rock Lords. And, uh, yeah, it is. This is totally a Rock Lord I don't have. It's one of the more uncommon ones. And it turns into a freaking, like, dragon. It's like a Pteranodon dragon thing, and you can see its freaking spines. And it's just freaking awesome. I mean, this is like... I don't know what it is about uh, Rock Lords. The, you know, these, these GoBot guys that just turn into rocks, but the transformations are always super satisfying, and, uh, yeah, the robots are usually generally pretty cool, but yeah, there you go, it's a freaking awesome dragon pteranodon thing, freaking so cool, I could not believe this is in here, so we got that, pretty excited about that. Okay, and then finally we have the Battle Beasts. I have never found this many Battle Beasts in the wild, so this is actually kind of freaking crazy. But, uh, yeah, there's some really good ones here, so let's get straight to it. We've got a Broken Buffalo, unfortunately. Or is he the Bison? I can't remember. Buffalo or Bison. But, uh, unfortunately with Battle Beasts, the arms can um, break when they haven't been moved in a long time. They can kind of get sticky, and if you try to move an arm forcefully, it can break off. So that's an unfortunate thing about Battle Beasts. But anyways, there's the buffalo. And then we've got the bear, who actually has a rub symbol, but it doesn't work very well. So we've got the bear, pretty cool. We've got the fox, no rub symbol, but definitely a cool design. I love the fox, pretty awesome. One of the few that has a little nubbin of a tail. <laughs> and uh, let's see, we've got the hippo. Uh, no rub symbol. Oh, wait, you know what? <laughs> I, I totally forgot. I actually replaced my hippo. So this is actually my old hippo. So I did get a hippo. And uh, he didn't have a rub symbol either, but he, his paint wasn't as worn. So I got this one. He's actually pretty hard to find. This is the Tarsier, I believe. And his arthritic... Oh, wrong way is arthritic giant hand, but yeah, he's pretty cool. Rub symbol too, which is nice. Uh, he's definitely one of the harder ones to find, so pretty cool there. We've got one of my favorites, the rhino. No rub symbol, but freaking rocking that mace hand like a mofo. So badass. One of my favorites for sure. And now we've got, this is a childhood favorite, because I remember getting him when I was a kid. We got the skunk, and he does have a rub symbol. I may have replaced this guy. It's, mm, no, I don't think I did. Maybe I did? I'm not sure. These two were like, he was in pretty damn good shape, as was mine, so I had to decide which one was better, and I can't remember if I replaced him or not. Then we've got the squid, always a fan favorite. Nice calamari. I love the little circles on his feet. Pretty awesome. But no rub symbol, but still. Decent shape. Pretty nice. And we've got the flying squirrel, who has a rub symbol and is in pretty damn nice shape. I actually thought he might be better than mine, but mine was in, like, super good shape. And rub symbol, too, which is nice. A little water guy. So, pretty cool. And then one of the other ones that has a little nubbin of a tail, we've got the gator here. Battle Beast Croc Master. <laughs> But uh, pretty awesome. No rub symbol, but super sweet, super good condition. Really just a great toy. Absolutely one of my favorites. And speaking of favorites, this is another fan favorite. we got the frog. Really nice shape. Um, mine is like mint. I couldn't believe it. When I went to compare to this guy, because I was like, man, this guy is in really good shape. Mine is actually even better than this guy. This guy's got a little bit of wear right here, but that's, that's about it. And, you know, maybe on his spikes a little bit, but... Frog is in great shape and a super cool figure. And then, the craziest thing of all, I can't even believe this. The last two items I have, uh, Battle Beast items, we've got the Blue Armor Cheetah. Which, if you guys don't know, the regular Armor Cheetah is red. And uh, it is quite a striking difference. So, there you go. There's the blue one. I literally thought I would never find this guy. He's kind of expensive. And uh, no rub symbol, but that's okay. That's This is freaking awesome. I never thought I'd get this guy. I looked up prices for him recently and was very disappointed. <laughs> and then uh, the last thing we have. Just amazing. I didn't think I would see one of these anytime soon. This is literally a part of my childhood. I remember when I had this, and I loved it. But we've got the Battle Beast Ram Chariot, which is amazing. It holds three figures. Um, you know, you open up the back... And this is actually the guy that was in the chariot when I bought him. But, uh, yeah, dude sits there, and you can have two guys stand here, you know, with their 
arms holding onto that for support. But yeah, the freaking Battle Beast Chariot. Amazing. When you roll it, the mouth does move up and down. It does still work, so absolutely killer. One of the coolest things I've found in a long time. I am stoked. You guys have no idea how stoked I am over some of these toys. The freaking Ram Chariot that I had as a kid. Never thought I'd get one of those again. The Cheetah variant I was just telling myself I would never find, I would never get without having to pay, you know, a ridiculous amount of money for a tiny piece of plastic. There it is. And then of all things, I'm holding in my hand because I transformed them so I can show you guys, but the uh, Rock Lord. There's one Rock Lord in the bag and it's one that I don't have and I have a ton of them. I can't believe it. It's so amazing. You guys have no idea how stoked I am about retro toys right now. Uh, but rest assured, there are more gaming videos coming. Thank you again, Steve. You are the man, and I will continue trying to find toys for you, sir. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. That would be amazing. Check me out on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash You guys rule. Much love, and keep rocking the retro games and toys.